بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين. I start in the name of Allah the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respective viewers, before getting engaged in this episode, let me quote one of the sayings of Imam Hussein alayhi salam when he says, Some people worship God, coveting his rewards. This is the worship of the merchants. Some people worship Allah, fearing his punishments. This is the worship of slaves. Whereas some people worship Allah the Almighty, knowing and thanking him for his blessings. And this is the worship of the free superior persons. Al-Imam Hussain alayhi salam in this saying is classifying people into three different categories. The first category or group is made up of those people who worship Allah the Almighty merely for obtaining or gaining his worldly desires and an Imam is describing them of being merchants. However, the second group or category of people is made up of those who worship Allah the Almighty merely of being afraid of being punished either in this life or in the hereafter. The last group or category of people are worshipping Allah the Almighty out of their knowledge of His greatness, mercy and His deservedness of being worshipped. And this is the top of worshipness according to the sayings of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Peace be upon your respected viewers and welcome to His Imam Hussain, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussain's life starting from his miraculous birthday, going through the different stories that happened to him throughout his life mentioning some of the sayings of the Prophet of Islam in his right and then ending with his miraculous, unparalleled, unique martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in the previous episode we spoke about the blessed childhood and youth of Imam Hussein, and in this episode is going to be a continuation for the previous episode. One example is the famous story narrated by the, both the safe sect and its opponents of how Al Imam Al Hassan and his brother Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam would playfully climb on the Prophet's shoulders while he was prostrating in the prayer. In Sahih al Nusa'i, a narrator reports the following narration The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him and upon his pure family, came out to pray the evening prayers with Hassan and Hussein alayhi salam upon his shoulders. He put them down and began to pray, and at one point he prolonged one of his prostrations. So that I raised my head, the narrator says, and saw one of the children climbing on the Prophet's shoulders while he was prostrating. I returned to my prostration, and when the prayer was ended, people asked Prophet of Islam, O Messenger of Allah, you prolonged your prostration so that we thought something had happened to you, or you had received some revelation. The Prophet of Islam replied, It was nothing of that sort. Rather, it was my son Hussein mounted my back and I did not like to put him down so that he would completely satisfy it. In this narration, uh, the narrator trying to uh, uh, clarifies the affection and the compassion that the Prophet of Islam used to dedicate for his grandson Hassan and his grandson Hussein. Allah's blessings and peace be upon them. Indeed, the Prophet, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, mostly liked to be close and near to his grandsons, meaning Hassan and Hussein. In Sahih al-Tirmidhi, Osama has reported the following narration. One evening, he says, I went to the Messenger of Allah for something, and I saw him covering something in his lap with a blanket. When my need was fulfilled, I asked, What is there in your lap, O Messenger of Allah? The Messenger replied, Removing the blanket, and I saw Hassan and Hussein sleeping on his lap. He said, meaning the Prophet of Islam, These two are my sons and the sons of my daughter. O oh Allah, I love them. You also love them and love whoever loves them. Let sincerely our respected viewers pray that Allah makes it of those who uh, love Imam Hussein sincerely. Our respected viewers, in the same collection of narrations, Anas reports the following narration. People ask the Prophet of Islam, which people from his household were most beloved to him? He replies, Hassan and Hussein. He asked Fatima, call my two sons. When they arrived, he would smell them and take them into his arms and he would hug them as well. Our respected viewers, we came to the end of today's episode. Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the master of our time, Al-Mahdi al, al muntadar in order to interpret verbatim 
the sayings of Imam al Hussein, as a grandfather, when he says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. This is what we have for today's episode. Until we meet with a new episode, thank you very much indeed. Until we meet next time. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.